Hello everyone, this is Martin Meyer from The Foundry and in today's Workflow Wednesday session I would like to show you how you can generate masks by using smart vectors. The smart vector node allows you to calculate motion of the pixels between frame in Nuke X. The whole toolset including vector distort, corner pin and grid board tracker allows you to match the motion of the elements that you're trying to add on top of your footage. In this case we are really trying to create a mask that will allow us to adjust certain parts of the footage based on the motion of those pixels. If you would like to learn more about the Smart Vector toolset, I will encourage you to visit our YouTube page where we have a selection of videos covering this topic, and every node that we will use is also covered inside of Nuke's help page. Great, so now we can generate our masks. I will start with the Smart Vector node. I just add it in here and connect the source into our footage. If I look at this, the RGB is gone, but we acquired new smart vector layers in our stream that define the motion of the pixels. Next, I will add my roto shape that will define the masks. I can connect it to my background. If I look at this, you'll see it roughly traces the shape that I would like to affect by my grade further down. And I'll just set it to pre-multiply, so I'll get only the RGB output without the background. So now when I hit play, you will see that the mask stays wherever it was created at, or whatever frame it was created at. So to make it move, we need to add additional node called Vector Distort, that will allow me to move the mask by the smart vectors. Let's create this Vector Distort node. And I will add it to my script. I will connect my smart vectors to the smart vector input, and my source will be my roto paint. Then I can go to the frame where I created the mask and I will set the vector distort reference frame to that frame. So this frame will be distorted across the rest of the frames. Let's have a look at the result. And when I hit play, you'll see that my mask is now moving with the footage or by the motion vectors created from the footage. And also, not only it moves, it also distorts and you get also the little shakes and jitters that are coming from the footage directly. To use our mask, I prepared a little grade, but it can be any maskable effect or filter inside of Nuke uh, that is simply animated uh, and it flashes in cyan to make the effect quite obvious. And then I can use the result of my distortion or vector distort as a mask. Since my vector distort is producing RGB data, if you look at it, it's black and white, and I also adjusted the feather on my Bezier stroke. I had to also change the mask from alpha to red, green or blue channels to get the masking working properly. You can connect it directly to the channels inside of Nuke, or you can use the mask input. Either way works. Great, so I hope you enjoyed this little trick and it will help you to speed up some of your rotoscoping work, especially in places where precision is not really needed. Thank you for watching and happy comping!